Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hi, welcome back everyone. Now we are going to discuss case number 19 in GIT contrast studies. Today our patient is a 6 year old boy presented with sudden onset severe epigastric pain and intractable retching. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of the barium upper GI contrast study series. So here there are some abnormalities you can see this is the there is a rounded opacity opacified structure in within the right lung so likely this is likely the stomach this is the gastroesophageal junction you don't see the stomach at the normal position under the left hemidiaphragm and this is the gastroduodenal junction it is however at a lower position than the gastroesophageal junction and apart from that the greater curvature here is on the, the right side the lesser curvature on left side so there's 180 degrees twisting of the stomach then the esophagus is dilated probably there's partial obstruction at the gastroesophageal junction and also buckling of the esophagus you can see however distal layer is seen so no distal obstruction and no pacifications of the bronchial tree to suggest regurgitation or reflux and visualized bones also normal so there's uh, this case diagnosis is organoaxial axial gastric valvulus valvulus secondary to diaphragmatic hernia congenital diaphragmatic hernia differential diagnosis are gastric pull up surgery up surgery and epiphrenic diverticulum diverticulum those are few differential diagnosis and uh, these patients when you talk about gastric volvulus they commonly present with bochart triad bochart triad triad they are, they are sudden onset severe epigastric pain, intractable retching without omitting, and difficulty in passing NG tubes. Those are the features of Bochas triad. It is commonly seen in organoaxial gastric volvulus. And apart from that, organoaxial gastric volvulus commonly seen in adults, and mesenteroaxial seen, commonly seen in children. And organoaxial gastric volvulus, there's rotation around the, along the long axis in the cardiopyloric line and the mesenteroaxial volvulus there's rotation twisting of the stomach in the short axis perpendicular to cardiopyloric line and uh, in that case mesenteroaxial volvulus the entrament pylorus will be above the level of gastroesophageal junction so that's about gastric volvulus so it's an surgical emergency so that concludes case number 19 in GIT radiology or GIT contrast studies. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, then you get notifications of our new videos. And also you can comment on our videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.